Welcome friends. Today we are going to learn how to create a Databricks account uh, to work with the Spark. Uh, without any delay, we can uh, go ahead and start creating an account. Click on the sign up button. Fill in all the required details and uh, proceed with the sign up. You will get a mail, verification mail for which you have signed up. Log in through your Gmail and verify it. Once after verification, uh, you can log in. Uh, since I have created an account already, I will just log into log in into my account. This is the home screen of Databricks. Uh, here in left side uh, pen we have a home button workspace workspace is nothing but uh, where we will be creating a notebooks and then uh, data data is nothing but uh, we will be storing our uh, data in a table structure we will be creating a database and tables here and uh, jobs uh, for scheduling purpose we will be using your jobs we can schedule the notebooks that we have created and uh, uh, the final one is a cluster uh, for running notebooks and for having an interactive session, uh, we need to run a cluster. I already created one cluster, but anyhow, I will uh, I will tell you how to create a cluster. Click on click create cluster. Just give a cluster name and give on create cluster. Here you can see like we have one driver with two two cores. Uh, which is of 15.3 GB. It is free. Uh, if you need to expand it, uh, you can uh, go ahead and upgrade your database subscription. Uh, but it cast. Uh, so this is a free version. Uh, so if you want to upgrade it, you can go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, I'm not creating a cluster since I already created it. I will open it and show you. Uh, each and every cluster uh, will be active for two hours. If there is uh, no activity happening in the notebooks, then the cluster will automatically go into a shutdown. Uh, here we can uh, see our notebooks, our libraries, uh, Spark UIs, driver logs and those things. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, start my cluster. Since it is a free cluster uh, we don't have a start stop option if we have upgraded subscription uh, then we will get a start stop option in our cluster ok no problem uh, we can go ahead and create our first program uh, choose workspace and go into a user account users and select your user and here right click and create notebook choose language we can choose python or scala or sql or r i'm choosing python since there is no cluster running uh, it is not showing anything uh, i will just uh, for now i will give it empty and i will go ahead and create it now our notebook got created here in this session i can select the notebook so i selected a notebook now uh, put any packages uh, here in the, our databricks the beauty is like we don't need to import any spark 
uh, sessions or anything we don't need to create any spark session uh, it it has a inbuilt uh, spark context in spark session let us create a data frame i will uh, define on list run it we can uh, go ahead and run here or else we can press shift enter to run the block uh, now it is asking us uh, whether you need to launch a cluster so I will launch and run the cluster sorry created a new cluster uh, anyways it ran the command So here you can see the list that we created has been converted into a data frame. Uh, we didn't create any spark session or spark context which inbuilt in our data bricks notebook itself. We can also use a scalar command or the SQL command in our uh, data bricks note in this in the same very same notebook itself. Like uh, just we have to give a SQL and we can give select. else for running a scalar command we can give it as like scalar and we can uh, give val a z equal to 10 so by this way in the same notebook we can have a scalar code as well as a python code as well as a sql code and we can also use our code in the same notebook itself that's it for that's it for today guys if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel also follow me on my facebook page learn to spark please provide your valuable comment in the comment section thank you